What's going on everybody? My name's Chris. Welcome to Bourbon Sane. Today we're going to be reviewing Old Forester Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey. All right, guys, we're back with another Old Forester product. I love Old Forester. I'm really excited about this one. There's been a lot of hype over this bottle. Was able to pick one up locally for a decent price. Really excited to get into it. So this is Old Forester Rye Whiskey. This is 100 proof. Um, it's a straight rye whiskey, meaning it's at least two years old. Um, age is not on the bottle, so not 100% sure. If I find out the age, I'll put it up here for you guys. But this is the first rye whiskey to come out of Old Forester in nearly 150 years. The mash bill on this product is definitely unique to a rye whiskey. So it's 65% rye, 20% malted barley, and only 15% corn. Now corn being the third most dominant grain in the mash bill is very unique. Typically, if it, even if in, in a rye whiskey, corn is gonna be the second most dominant grain. So you're still gonna get some of that sweetness. This really intrigues me. Um, being the third most dominant grain, going into this, I'm anticipating almost no sweetness. Pretty much just the rye notes. The barley usually brings out a little bit of a floral note for me. So I'm really curious to see what the flavor is going to be on this. I, I really am not sure. Um, but I'm excited to get into this one, guys. Been looking forward to this for a while. Since Fred Minnick put online that this is the best rye out there for the price, it's, it's blown up. So um, that got the hype train going, and I was able to get a bottle. So let's get into it. All right. Here we go. It's a screw top, but still get that little crack. There you go. That sounds nice. All right. Mm. Now, I, as I mentioned, I'm a big Old Forester fan. Um, the Old Forester Whiskey Rose series, the, the 1920, the Bottled and Bond, they're all great. Um, and Old Forester in general, I just love their flavor profile. Obviously, this is a rye whiskey, so... Curious to see if it's going to be any different, but let's go into the color. Definitely dark. So definitely a dark color on this. Um, and really with all, most Old Forester products, I, I get a dark color on this. I'd say dark caramel leading to amber color on this, actually. But it's definitely a good looking color for sure. All right, guys, let's go into the nose on this. Hmm. So it definitely smells like a rye whiskey. I'll say that. Um, it's got the cinnamon notes, peppery notes, I guess, on the nose. I do, I do feel like there's a little bit of sweetness buried in there, though. I'm going to describe this as a, a grassy note on the nose as well. Um, Definitely some citrus as well. So a lot of times in rye, I'll get citrus. So either lemon, orange. I'd say this favors the lemon over the orange. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say definitely lemon and grass. Um, the grassy note for sure. Not much burn. 100 proof. Not much burn on the nostrils though. Rye on the tongue a lot, a lot of times will give me a, a nice burn. So let's find out. Cheers, guys. Wow, that's definitely unique. I'll say that. Um, it doesn't taste like a normal rye to me. Um, a lot of a lot of ryes out there are only fifty one percent rye and then a high amount of corn. This being sixty five percent rye, that's a good amount. And then the barley, the barley adds a different element to this to this whiskey. I think um, on that first sip, it definitely was a lot sweeter than I anticipated. Again, corn being only 15%, I really thought it was going to be almost no sweetness at all, but I think the barley has some of that sweetness as well, almost like a floral note in there. Yeah, and the fruit is still on the nose, um, the citrus the citrus note. It's pretty good, guys. Um, honestly... I was pretty skeptical 
because of all the hype on this, I was like, oh, it's overly hyped. I, I don't think it's going to live up to the hype, but I really like this. I really like this rye whiskey. Sometimes rye whiskeys, in my experience, have been overly drying. It leaves a, a really dry feeling on my tongue. I don't like that. Um, it's just so dry. It, it leaves my palate almost like wanting water afterwards. This doesn't do that at all. It's still got that sweetness. I think it's that floral sweetness more than a, more than a corn sweetness. Um, but it's definitely got it, and my, my mouth is actually still salivating. So it's not like it's drying at all. I think this is definitely a good rye. Coming in at a good proof. Yeah. Honestly, it's kind of creamy, too. I don't know if I've ever described that in a rye whiskey before, but it's got a nice level of creaminess on it. It coats the mouth well. Um, this is really, really good. Um, I was not expecting to like this as much as I did. If you guys have watched some of my previous videos, you know I've said I'm not a huge rye guy. Um, I like a good rye whiskey, don't get me wrong, but I tend to lean towards higher corn mash bills in general. I have to be in the right mood for a rye. This is good. Um, I would say this is actually a bourbon drinker's rye. Um, it doesn't give you that dry, peppery burn you expect. Um, it doesn't burn the tongue a lot like a lot of ryes do, and even for the proof. So I think this is a, a really good option. Let me give it one more sip. Yeah, I really think that barley is is helping mellow that rye for me because it, it does have that level of sweetness. And it's not a corn sweetness, as I said. It's a little bit different. It's good. I, I, I like it, guys. Um, if you can still find a bottle of this, I don't know. I feel like with the hype, it's, it's going to be hard to find. For me, it was difficult to find here. Um, this was $26 out the door for me, and I think that's well worth the money. 26 bucks. This would be great in cocktails or great on its own. Um, I usually prefer a sweeter rye if I'm going to drink it straight. I'm fine with the, the peppery, cinnamony flavors if I'm doing a, um, a cocktail, of course. But if it's I want to drink it straight, a rye straight, I prefer a little more sweetness. So maybe like a 51% rye only. This I could do either way, for sure. Um, the floral sweetness is just unique. But it's really good. I really, really like it, guys. If you can still get your hands on this, if it's available, go out and pick it up right now. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. Stay insane. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button. Also follow me on Instagram at Bourbon Sane and Facebook Bourbon Sane.